This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Cincinnati, Ohio. The home of the Ohio State University, right? Anyway, I'm going to show you guys around here. So, just a quick fact about Cincinnati before we show you too much around here. It is the 29th largest metropolitan area, the largest in Ohio with over 2 million people. The largest city being Cleveland, but if you include the metro area of Cincinnati, it is bigger. It sits on the border with Kentucky, and there's two main river confluences here. The Ohio River, which is where the riverfront is, we'll be walking down there, and also the Licking River. So I landed at the airport for Cincinnati, which is actually in Kentucky, and then we had to drive across the Ohio River to get here. Most of the people live on this side of the river. But yeah, let's keep cruising around here in Cincinnati, home of the Bengals as well, the contending Super Bowl, the runner-up, we lost to the Rams, kind of came out of nowhere with Joe Burrow. There's a real big history here in Cincinnati in the Ohio Valley area here. We're going to talk about a lot of that as we continue to explore. All right, so we're headed down towards the waterfront. Here's a couple facts or interesting tidbits of information for you. So Munich, Germany is number one for Oktoberfest, beer fest in the entire world. But guess where number two is? Cincinnati. Or it was at one point. Uh, which is interesting because I was just in Munich. Now I'm in Cincinnati. So a lot of German immigrants moved here, uh, especially during World War II, to get rid of, to get away from what was going on over there. And that's why they settled here. Now, before that population boom, there was a big population boom after the Civil War, during the Civil War time frame. And you'll see a lot of statues of pigs around Cincinnati. Well, pork was a big industry here. So during that time frame, very wealthy people were building homes and there's a lot of historical mansions or big homes from the 18th century that you'll see here. The nickname for Cincinnati is the Queen City along with Charlotte, obviously, but the reason it was called the Queen City is because it was the Queen of the West in the 1800s. Because at one point in time, going west to the Ohio Valley was considered west. This was before they had really settled the West Coast. Nowadays, people just call it Cincy, but the name Queen City still holds. Anyway, we're going to go across the freeway here and get on that riverfront and we'll be up against where the Reds play, which is the oldest baseball team over 150 years old in the whole MLB and where the Cincinnati Bengals play also. So we'll be just got to get across the street here. This is Highway 75. From what I understand, According to my Uber driver, that's actually the busiest bridge in the country that goes over the Ohio River, at least for truckers. So here's a good look at the skyline of Cincinnati. So a lot of the people from Germany that moved to Cincinnati were Jewish, and because of that, Cincinnati is actually home to one of the top Jewish uh, institutions for education for those who are seeking to learn more about the Jewish Jewish faith so that's right here in Cincinnati and we are coming up to the yard house obviously this is a good area for games if you're going to see the Bengals or if you're going to see the Reds play I wonder if the Reds are in town so why the name the Bengals, why the name the Reds. That is something I'm gonna to have to find out and get back to you later on in the video. <laughs> or someone could drop a comment if I never find the answer. But the people I've asked, 
say it's like a mystery. No one quite knows why they call them the Reds. So this here is Marion Spencer Way and Freedom Way. There's where the Reds play. I could have sworn it used to be called Three River Stadium or was it Riverfront Stadium? Maybe it was Riverfront Stadium. Back when I used to watch the Reds when they had Ozzie Guillen and Pete Rose was the coach. Then they banned Pete Rose from the MLB. But I was a Reds fan when I was a kid because oddly enough, I played on the Reds. <laughs> like T-ball and farm. And then I played for the Marlins and the Dodgers. But when I was a real little kid, I had a big C on my hat. We were the Reds. I just want to show you guys this old bridge. That's that bridge over there that you're looking at in the distance, one that goes over the Ohio into Kentucky. That's the busiest bridge, but this is called the John Robing Bridge. Interesting bridge, huh? Let's go down to the riverfront. It's a little bit humid today, it's overcast, it's not cold, it's humid. Cincinnati is known for its wicked chilly winters. Like snow, frost, blizzards. But then it's really humid summers. So here we have the Ohio River Trail. We've got tulips in bloom. Looks like they got more tulips coming in. It's gonna be a deal with that. And here we are along the riverfront. There's that big bridge. That is a big, big river. I don't know for sure, but I think the Ohio pours into the Mississippi. There's a few huge rivers that dump into the Mississippi, including the Missouri. Whatever it is they're pulling or pushing, that barge there. Big river barge, man. It's like oil or what? Where are they gonna take it? Are they going to the Mississippi? Man, where are they taking that? that big oil barge or what? Huge. Got these swinging park benches right along the Ohio River, like that. <laughs> Just swing. Got the flowers in bloom. I was talking to somebody about going to Louisville or Indianapolis, and he said he liked Lexington better than he liked Louisville. So we'll see where I go next. But I arrived in town from Buffalo. I had to do a connecting flight in Buffalo to Detroit and then on to Cincinnati. I rather ride the train, but there was no direct train and I was actually trying to go to Pittsburgh. But I found the Cincinnati flight and I took it. All right, so it turns out I've got two new bits of useful information. They were called the Reds because of the red stockings, the red socks that they had. They're not the only ones, the red socks, right? The other thing is the reason it's called Cincinnati is it was named after a Roman, uh, like general or a Roman leader named Cincinnaticus. That's why it's called Cincinnati. The more you know, right? And as we continue to walk around, I want to tell you guys about some of the things you can do when you actually come out here to Cincinnati and visit. Check out Fanley Market. It's about a mile and three quarters. Well, 1.3 miles from where I'm located right here in downtown. Also, Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. The zoo is actually the second oldest in the country. Cincinnati Zoo is very famous. They've had 
some pretty exotic animals born there. One thing I will say about drivers in Cincinnati, they don't care about nothing, dude. They don't care about nothing, dude. Okay? For real. <laughs> if they got to, they will take up both lanes if they want. If you're trying to get on the freeway, like my Uber driver, he was in a little Honda Civic, he was absolutely getting bullied on the road by semis in particular because semis like I said this is like one of the most transited bridges on that highway 75 I believe that's what it's called and so you get these big rigs around 3 p.m. and they just take over the road man but even the even the locals they just take over the whole road literally and they, and they go they like Go in between lanes too. And they love to rev the engine. So I'm just saying, driving out here seems like a sport. I mean, I'll go places and I'll see drivers of all different types of uh, paces and stuff. But I've definitely seen that here in Cincinnati between the local uh, hot rod crew and the big trucks, as well as the uh, semis but I will say the people are friendly I mean everyone I've met that I've had conversations with very down to earth happy smiling so don't let the driving get to you because you might you might think otherwise if you're an out-of-state driver coming here everyone's just very social I think it's probably because it's not very densely populated I've noticed the more densely populated a place is, the more congested it is, the more cranky people become. So like some of these smaller cities where they're actually kind of losing population, they have the infrastructure and they have the city built out, but they're not densely populated like a New York or Austin where there's such a such a boom of population that it's it's overpopulated the infrastructure that was put in place so we're on fourth street and main right here i'm gonna kind of cruise up there if i can rain i don't know if the rain is coming or going i think it's coming well the forecast is calling for rain for the next few hours so this is fifth and main i'll just kind of cruise through here See if I can find some food. But if it doesn't clear up, that's what it is. Yeah, let's see if we can find some food, some local Cincinnati style. I guess that would mean chili. I had some at the airport. Oh man, the rain is coming in. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Ooh! Grater's ice cream. This is a nice brownie with some salted caramel ice cream. It's still raining outside. Oh, yeah. oh man, this is delicious. Mm. All right, so I'm in downtown using my Hilton Honors. I'll try to put a link below if you guys are asking for it to get signed up also for Hilton. But uh, yeah, this is right here in downtown Cincinnati. Let's begin the tour. All right, so after a bit of a storm, we are back onto the streets of Cincinnati. So there's a whole side to Cincinnati where you can get a good view up on these hills. That's what I really want to show you guys if I can. Just can't make any guarantees, but that's where the Cincinnati Art Museum is. The uh, Crawn Observatory, that's where I would like to go, but it's getting late. Eden Park Overlook. And then over here, 
we have nearby the Hard Rock Casino, but the hills in Cincinnati are really nice. Look at these uh, views up above. Here's one of those uh, trams. So we're going on Central Parkway here down to the Hard Rock. There we go. Some nice street art over here. Again, we're on Central and Walnut Street here. They have an area here called Over the Rhine. Obviously the Rhine River in Germany, but Kroger on the Rhine here. I'm really trying to show you as much as I can with what's remaining in the daytime. We had that rainstorm that lasted for a couple hours. It just came breezing through here. That slowed down the progress of what I was gonna be able to show you. Yeah, so that Contemporary Art Museum, or the Art Museum, uh, which is basically just on the other side of the Over the Rhine neighborhood, which is right there. That's Over the Rhine neighborhood. I'll try to get in there. Okay, we've made it to the Over the Rhine neighborhood. We're on Sycamore and 12th, and we are headed into the heart of it all. So there's a couple areas that you'll want to take note of when you come to Over the Rhine. There is Walnut Street. Okay, and it depends on the time of day. It's a Monday night right now while I'm here. Alright, so here we are on Main Street. Now this is pretty much the core area. If we just cruise through here on Main Street. Gonna cross right here. It's right next to the crosswalk, so I'm good. Like I said, Walnut. Coming up here to Old St. Mary's Square. I really wanted to stay at that casino. I was enjoying drinking beer and playing Wheel of Fortune. Anyway, so you can see lots of activity going on here. around a little bit at night here. That's the Jeff Ruby Steakhouse Cigar Lounge. Octo. This is right downtown on Walnut. Got that right there. Prime. Jarson Coplin Theater. Museum Hotel. We're off of Walnut here and 6th Street. There was a Korean restaurant that I saw over here, but here's an Indian restaurant. I already had the uh, like chili and noodles with a Coney dog. I had one of those earlier. Hampton Inn and Suites and Homewood Suites. It's like two different hotels. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to the room. All right guys, thanks for watching this episode of Cincinnati from Cincinnati, Ohio. And we will see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah. Cool town, cool town.